If you are from Germany, then chances are you know exactly who our next story is all about. He is the longest serving member of the European Parliament, but rumor has it he could be on his way out. Let's take a look. In 1980, Margaret Thatcher had just come to power, the Rubik's Cube made its international debut, and John Lennon was assassinated. But it was also the year, seldom mentioned, that Elmer Brock stepped into the European Parliament for the first time. Working as a lobbyist, an advisor, and an MEP, at 72 years old, he's pretty much seen it all. A stalwart of European affairs, he was a trusted friend of Helmut Kohl and a longtime ally of Angela Merkel. He's sometimes been a controversial figure, but he has seen Europe expand and watched as nations reunite. But now it seems his time at the heart of Europe could be nearing its end. That's after he lost a vote for a spot on this year's election list. Why his CDU colleagues could want him out, we're not really sure. But from some of his colleagues, the message is clear. Don't write Brock off. That's almost four decades. Is this an end of an era? I don't think so. He's, the, the margin of defeat was small. Uh, the mood music today, I think, was fairly positive. And I think this will be turned around. I think journalists will lose more than anybody. Brock is, is a great character to have in front of a camera. <laughs> You're going to miss him, Darren? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. The last we don't, time we was, don't know yet. The, the last know. and only time he was on this programme, we had a slight disagreement. You He's did. refused to appear <laughs> since. So I don't know whether I will miss him or not. But uh, he clearly is a character. <laughs> he clearly has been around for a long time. And I think, in part, uh, this is a reflection of the diminishing power of uh, Angela Merkel. Uh, because, uh, as rightly noted in that little report there, they have been very close allies. They 